Hello, this is Roman Sanchez. I am presenting my final set design map for game 310. Um, here I have is my finished level. So as you can see, I have added textures to the whole entire thing. Um, again, this is an office themed map. So from here, I have pencils that were made. I have thumbtacks. I have sticky notes, the desk, and I even have a piece of paper that's up here along with a bunch of note cards that kind of simulate the borders of the map itself and then I have a giant mug pouring water because I could not get it to be coffee so to go more into depth about how the gameplay works on this map is um, from my previous feedback I did add layers into into the first level um, and I also did fit some more interior spaces within some of my note cards because before it was very bland there was nothing in here but I did add some open things or more things so that you can kind of run with it when there are enemies ahead of you and kind of learn which which places are best to come at with so here I did add um, kind of like in a sense of when you carve say take a pencil and then put it deep into a desk you kind of get a little bit of wood that shows this is kind of what that's supposed to show um, if I were able to slide or crouch, it'd be much better, as you can kind of take cover and stuff. But here, you can't with this current build, so it's kind of just like that. But this is my way of kind of showing a different depth of the desk itself. So I have a couple of those lying around. I have one right here as well. Kind of breaks up the flat momentum of the map. Kind of running around, sliding, crouching, doing what you can. Um, this no card is placed right over one. So just gotta be careful when going through it. I did add a lot more pencils and erasers around the map to break up the flat momentum as well. This no card does have. I try to simulate tape, just so well, it's clear and you can't kind of run around it. So if you run into here, what another enemy does, you just gotta know where to shoot, know where to hide. And again, here's me breaking up the bottom floor a little bit more than it was before, as it used to be all flat. My erasers have all been colored now, they're all pink. And then I have a nice little shiny metallic thing for my thumbtacks. But so onto the set design up here. Let's see if I can make this jump pad. All the way up top. It's a little floaty. Um right up here I have this piece of paper and there's a bunch of new obstacles. I did take out the two note cards that were on the sides. I feel like it made it a lot more clunky. So it's a lot more open right here. It's kind of fast paced. If you're not fast, you're not gonna make it up on this on this floor. It's really for the people that just know what they're doing and can slide and get around objects and hide and just be really quick. So again, if you're not quick, you're not gonna make it up here. And that's kind of what I did for here. I have a thumbtack in the middle, so it kind of breaks up the open space right here. Now what I did do is I made the water have no collision so that you can shoot through it. So if you're tracking an enemy running, you can kind of try to shoot him through the water. I feel like it makes sense since you can essentially shoot through water in some scenarios. Um, so that's just the giant mug. I could not model a hand, so it looked like a monster instead of a human hand. And then here we have the cork staircase. Don't know where you get all this cork, but this person does have it, whoever built this map in this office. And then we have another note card right here, which kind of gives you a little for advantage, kind of shoot where you want to, just be careful, people can come from any angle still, you can't just camp up here since we have these jump pads right here, and they will definitely let people run up on you when you least expect it. There's also one right here as well. And um, so that is the rest of my map, um, that's everything I've added, everything I've changed. Um, Again, what I really focused on was changing the flatness of the first floor and then changing the interior of my note cards as, again, it was just an open space, but now there are some obstacles in there, some interior design. And yeah, so thank you, Markwit. I do appreciate your feedback and I will see you for the next project.